Hey friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. On Under the Hood today, we got something new. It is the 2016 Mazda CX-9, and this has the first use of Mazda's new 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. So let's have a look. For 2016, the Ford Source 3.7 liter V6 gives way to Mazda's new top engine in the CX-9, a 2.5 liter direct injected and turbocharged four-cylinder engine. In the CX-9, it's always paired with a six-speed automatic transmission in both front-wheel and all-wheel drive models. While many turbocharged engines at size do produce more power, Mazda took a conservative approach here with 227 horsepower base rating with regular unleaded fuel. If you spring for 93 octane premium, the engine can produce up to 250 horsepower. In either case, the torque rating is 310 pound-feet, which is really where this engine is tuned to generate its grunt with minimum turbo lag. And to achieve this, they've incorporated a number of tricks with the design of the exhaust manifold and the turbocharger assembly. It all starts with the intake air that enters the filter box from above the grill, then travels back to a turbocharger located behind the engine. From there, it travels back up front to an air-to-air -air intercooler mounted ahead of the radiator. It returns to the throttle body low at the front of the engine and into a composite intake manifold where it's mixed with cooled exhaust recirculation, or EGR, an assembly you can clearly see on top of the engine. By controlling this intake, the air-to-fuel ratio could be better managed. Direct injectors, variable valve timing, and a relatively high compression ratio of 10.5 to 1 handle the combustion cycle, but things get interesting at exit. The exhaust system has a variable valve body that enables the flow to be pinched off at lower RPM. This narrow but faster exhaust flow keeps the turbocharger spinning quicker in the lower RPM ranges and reduces turbo lag to near zero. At higher RPM, the valves open to allow full flow and turbo boost up to 17.4 psi. A computer-controlled electronic servo, as opposed to a vacuum-operated one, allows for better boost control across RPM range. All of these technologies, Mazda tells us, contribute to robust power curves down low and higher efficiency across the operating envelope. For those who service their own, the major maintenance checkpoints are all within easy view and reach. The coolant reservoir is up front and center, though it's gray and not the white translucent color one we're usually looking for. Windshield washer fluid is off to the passenger side. The air filter box is easy to reach but does require some wrestling to get into. The main fuse block and 12 volt battery are just behind that and the brake fluid is up where it's expected at the firewall ahead of the driver. Oil fill and dipstick are up top and center of the engine, best seen with the engine cover on. Well, there you have it for the new 2.5 liter Skyactiv turbocharged engine. Now, I really hope that they put this engine in some other vehicles like the Mazda 6, even the Mazda MX-5 Miata. That, that'd be a nice use of this motor. But here, I think it works pretty well. Now, if you want to see a full test drive on this vehicle, click on the link down below in the information section, full-blown test drive, and really hear about how this engine works. And if you like this video, click on the link right here on your screen and subscribe to the YouTube channel that we have. We test drive one to two vehicles a week, plus we have a video just like this almost every other day. Always something new, so stay tuned.